Hi, and welcome to B.I. Belinda doing a DAX measure. In this measure, we're going to do something called an aggregation with iteration, which is really just a fancy way of saying that the measure needs to be calculated for each and every row before it gets like summed together. And the example we're going to use today is calculating our revenue price. Now, I happen to have it out here in my data set, but we're going to pretend that we don't. And I, I did display it here in each of these two visuals so that we can see a comparison between the two. So let's begin. What we're looking at is sales information, obviously. And over in the visual on the left, I can see my invoice number and the item number individually, which pretty much is row by row. I can see the quantity for each of these items, and I can see the unit price, which each one costs um, in an each scenario. So like right here in this phone one, you could see uh, there are two at 379, but the total sales is 759. So the measure that I'm about to create should come up with this number. Over here, I'm looking at the same data. The difference is I'm just looking at it summed or aggregated by customer number. So same data, same data set, everything exactly the same. So we're gonna go ahead and pre begin calculating this. So what I'm gonna do is just come up and right mouse click and add a new measure. And on this measure, when it pops up, there we go, we're gonna call this the extended price, or yeah, we'll call it extended price. I already have a field out there for total sales. And it's a measure. So now what I wanna do is just do an example of what a regular aggregation would look like. So if I went in and said, I wanna summarize my quantity and multiply that times the sum of my unit price, that's how that would create. So now I've got that done. I'm going to drag that amount out to each of these visuals. And you could see it is way off. And the reason it's off is it's trying to add up like all of it. In this particular case, this 220 items of Aaron Fitz and, and multiply it times the sum of the unit price. And that is just not going to work at all. So what we want to do instead is we want to change this aggregation so that it actually will do the calculation row by row and then sum the total price for each one. So it'll calculate the sales price or the extended price for every single row and then add that, those numbers together. And to do this, it's very simple. We're going to use the same aggregation formula but we're going to put an X behind it. And that tells us that we want to return the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in the table. So the first thing it needs to do is we need to tell it which table. You could see the IntelliSense popping up right there. So I'll tell it what table I want it to be. And now I can enter in the expression. And the expression, it could very simply be added in as the quantity times the unit price. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just click OK. And now you should notice my numbers do indeed match up because what's happening is it's calculating the unit price for every single row of data and then adding those together. So that again is called aggregation with iteration and basically it's using all the same aggregation functions it's just putting an x at the end hope this helps